Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Writers in Fusion. I'm your host Susan. I'm here with Dave, Jen, Julie, and Ed. Okay, Dave. Uh, uh, let, let me be the, uh, the, the curmudgeon. Yeah, the horror <laughs> yeah. of the group. <laughs> That's that's not hating the story. That's I never let's said reword I hated this. the story. Let's reword this. I never said that. I don't even like oh. the word hate. I'm um, also so I did I, I agree with one of the ones uh, maybe not Dave. <laughs> yeah, now there's obviously tension between the sisters. Yes. There's tension and, among us. And we have no idea. Between present and past, I, I thought were, were great. I know exactly where I was. Yeah. Oh, that's, um, and that's hard to I, do. I, I didn't. You didn't? You're on the dog. Really? You're on the dog. Oh, I was lost. Right. Now I'm going to contradict myself and disagree with myself, right? So, so you have <laughs> so him. So you agree yeah. with me in a way. And yeah. 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 You trust the reader. Yeah. 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 Not me. I need to be held. Yes. I need hugs. Yes. <laughs> Dave, Dave, that is so you and I look at you, I think. Hugs. hugs. <laughs> I was going to say, I agree with Dave. <laughs> I'm I leaving. Know. I know it's scary. I'm done. Just done. I'm done. Yeah. Dave. <laughs> while there are bombs falling around outside. Tell us about the bombs that are falling. Right, yes. Uh, yeah. you know, don't tell us about the tea. I'm like a horse. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> You're going to tell me where to go, and I'll go there, and I'll enjoy the trip. Yeah. So back to page anyway. So You're a horse, too, then. I was, I was just going to thank you for not calling me a horse. <laughs> <laughs> not remarkable. They're kind of dull. And the characters seem two-dimensional. I don't mean to offend you. Two-dimensional, and they're wading through molasses. They're just moving so slowly. That's the, in, the, the, the gel between the vertebrae. You know, we need the intervening pieces here. The gel between the vertebrae? My dad. <laughs> wow. wow. That gets used recently. Yeah. I'm thinking the gel nice between the vertebrae. Nice image. I like yeah. 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 Think of punctuation as uh, if you were driving with no traffic signals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on a wide-angle lens here. Uh. And if you want it to be about Lily, then maybe you zoom in mm. on Lily. And Make every sentence an event. Oh. Yes, right. I actually Googled skateboarding in Tehran just we, to see if there oh, was such really? a thing. And sure, there is. There are skateboard parks. Get yeah. out. So. And just for the record, it was Perseus that killed Medusa, not Jason. The army. No, it was Perseus. Yeah. You're absolutely Good. right. I read Jason. And it was Perseus. Right. Yes, yes, You're yes. Right. yes. Yep. A couple questions. You must complete three challenges based on the three elements of water. Is it? It's more it's phases, phases yeah. right? Yeah. I don't think they they speak like upper class British people. <coughs> they use a lot of uh, common expressions and a lot of American expressions. Like wow. So, I like wow. Just that yes. one down oh. too. Oh. I, I that said, one. was there even wow in 1918? Yeah. That's so interesting. Uh, I will tell you, I just looked up Cantor, and it comes from. Canterbury Tales, it's the pace at which the pilgrims rode to Canterbury. Oh, I love no. that, I didn't know. No, entropy means no, it's disorder. Right. So oh, it's a it's measure a, of... In the last paragraph, payments. it's defined as we had defined yeah. earlier on. Oops. Right. And... Uh, I knew. I, good good point. Good. I think you got a vocabulary checklist. <laughs> yeah. Bonus points for suit. The way the Earth was not formed in the Big Bang. So if he is the alien, and he's supposed to know all about science, then you want to correct That's that. true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, again, you're scaring me. Oh, your knowledge. Um, um, I, I'm getting my money's worth out of that physics degree. Awesome. Yeah. Jilt, a lot of jiltedness. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? I like it. That's about what I'm Jiltedness. First reference. Right, I'm sorry. If you're going to read it, somebody has to be nice. You have to have compassion for someone uh, that you're following on. Because remember, yes. all literature, you're eavesdropping in people's lives. Oh, I like that. And you, it, that's what it is. And well, people don't usually read out loud. No. Does it give you a different feel for the story? You will catch a lot more errors when you read it out loud. Mm -hmm. That's what we about. Sometimes, just go forward with the rest of your story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, when you're done, that's when you're capable of going back and mm -hmm. saying, "I didn't clarity. really need that." Yes. Yeah. So yes. I wouldn't worry about yeah. it so much yet. Not I would worry draft. about it at the right. Yeah. I would worry about it after first draft. Yeah. And that but what is changing for the characters? Right. I mean, her husband was dead. He's still mm -hmm. dead. She was taking care of her kids. She's still taking care of her kids. They were rich. She's still rich. What exactly has changed? Yeah, there's nothing That's a great vested. Point. For this, there's, there's no for this problem woman they're, they're from they're beginning. The first page of ten successful novels. Bam, and, and, bam. That's great can, advice. If you can pick novels by new authors, yes, because they are under much more scrutiny yes. than established. Yes. 
And Especially where this is a short story. I mean, every word has to right. count. Oh, that's right. It is it's a, a short It's a short story. story. It's yes. not a novel. Yes. So to have, you know, two pages of backstory and setting, mm -hmm. um, you know, just, you know, get to the story, get to the paragraphs. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing about writing action adventure. One of the tricks that I learned a while back is when you're trying to write something and you want it to, the reader to read it quickly and it to flow quickly, you have small pieces. Mm -hmm. when you and this is where the writer's art comes in. And you'll spend hours trying to rearrange this whole thing. It's going to take forever. <laughs> because you've got, these it's are all very encouraging, isn't it? No, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not kidding, but it's worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Okay, my first comment is, can't start like that. What, no. what do you mean by uh, that? I had the a hard the time thought too. of an entire novel with Eva as the main character, yes. I, I want to gnaw off a limb to escape. <laughs> <laughs> he has a girl take interest in him in his very first class. Uh -huh. A teacher ask him how he is. In my life, that never happened to me. Absolutely. Right. And, and then a pretty girl seek him out and start yes. talking to him. Yes. It's like, this kid has hit the lottery three times <laughs> yes. in one day. And he's still whining. And he's still whining. Yeah. It's like, yes. To me, this is a cliche. It's, I, I wrote down, she has raven black hair and piercing dark eyes. Oh, I, I wrote, know. of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. does. She has, Do you want to have you know, an 80s perm in that light <laughs> no, She has no. a gaunt face and a thin mouth turned down when it's like, of, of course she does. I like I thought it was weird for her to even say it's hard these days when she's, I mean, I know They're her servants, husband died. They have oh, big house. Yeah, she's doing quite right. nicely. So what's their so Everything's flowers. relative. Yeah, you know, it's all relative. But then what do we care? <laughs> they, have use this, they have to use the second uh, best yeah. zoo. I didn't bring my pom poms. Uh, I have some uh, real concerns that uh, you may or may not buy into. Okay. Uh, a lot of this is very self indulgent. Uh, you came with an itinerary that you wanted to teach a lesson, and you ended up teaching a lesson as opposed to allowing the reader and the kid to discover her truths a much more difficult task. That, that's the writer's craft. Okay, the girl, the girl shows up, and at the end of the paragraph, like white blood cells running away from an aggressive yeah. girl. Yes. Mood yes. killer. Yeah, yeah, you, know. yeah. you care. Maybe you care too quickly with these characters. You gotta hold back a little, Dave. But, but I, I, I need to I'm care about that. You are a compassionate fellow. You are. It's, it's fun to have, it's so rare for me to have an, an entire piece where I have very little negative to say. <laughs> I know. I almost don't recognize I, you. I know, and I feel funny. I'm uncomfortable with it. <laughs> Repetition, and I'm still on Dave's team. I still think it would start off better with mm. the kid and the father in the yard and having it happen. No, no, then, no, no, no uh, don't ever agree with me. Uh, <laughs> I totally agree with uh, Dave. I, I love the somber tone mm -hmm. throughout. Yes. You, you really, mm -hmm. you know, maintain that. and. Uh, mm. You, you uh, understand misery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm with Dave. For the, I'm agreeing with you a lot lately, which is, is I'm as, uncomfortable. It's weird, but it's weird for me. Shaking your mind for me too. You know, I, I'm being Pollyanna for this one, so let me just be the commercial for a second. Wait, I'm sorry. There are two of us now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just I'm channeling you. Thank you. Uh, and now I'm going to channel Dave. So I think I think she did a great job with this. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, will say, I, <laughs> I feel the um, exact opposite. I'm the opposite too. Um, I feel like wait, knowing, it's Freaky Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're switching, curmudgeon yeah. and and no, cheerful, Pollyanna. We, we switch personalities. Carry on. This is how. <laughs> era. I think the concept of the story is magnificent. Well, Those first, okay. Yes. Well, for instance, the first two paragraphs. I'm into the story already. I think it's a beautiful story. I think she takes us to a place that said. Uh, Fascinating. What next? I have to say, right off, you have you give such a great sense of setting. Mm. I was oh, right beautiful there in language. That yes. Beautiful language, very good sentence structure and use of verbs, and yeah. I loved all that. Thank you. I've said, I love some of your descriptions. I put check pluses when I love beautiful language. On page two, when you say, even the cheery splashes of primary colors that usually distinguish children's books from every other genre were somehow washed out and discolored. Having the appearance of aged watercolors. I said, I like this a lot. Loved it. Excellent word choices. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. There are so many places where it's like, yeah, that is the perfect word. And it's not like she's using big words. Right. She's yeah, moving words like scoot. Yes. You know, which is like the perfect word for that <coughs> place. Yes. Right. Yeah. There's an elegance to the writing. <coughs> yep. And the, the way I define elegant is taking something difficult and making it look simple. I think it's uh, very well written. 
the tone is uh, perfect for the situation. Uh, the people are like, I can see them like in the seven gates of hell, just <laughs> crawling through and trying to make it through the day. And the I usually don't go first, but uh, this kind of writing uh, really aggravates me because I can't help you. It is just terrific. Uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I like to fire away at it. I usually do, but uh, I got nothing to help you here. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. It is. It really has a fun atmosphere about it. It's like cheerfully grim. You know? the, the writing is clear. Yeah. He, he has yes. some excellent word choices yes. in here. I mean, I, I kept hitting things, and it's like, wow, that's a great way to phrase yep. this. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot to work with here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I really Thanks. enjoyed your story. Thanks. I, I was struggling to find things that uh, might be wrong with it. So um, I just want to start off by saying the characters are really fun. I want to read the rest of the story. It was very witty. Uh, and I just really liked it. I agree with Ed, there's some beautiful language. I noticed the bottom of page two, I curled up like a comma. I can mm -hmm. see right, that, it's that. really nice. And the next one, uh, about her eyebrows, curving up and down on page three, curving up and down like a cartoon of birds in the sky. That was a nice description. I really like this story. Yeah, I did too. This, yeah. this really, this pushes a lot of my buttons. Mm -hmm. I was, um, I was very moved by the whole scene. Yeah. Uh, it definitely elicited an emotional response in me. It wasn't like, oh, crying, no, my baby's... You know what I mean? You, you could do that and make it totally melodramatic and right. have it be very fake. But this this wasn't. This was very kind of quiet, but shocking. Yes. Yeah. So and shocking. I thought she did that really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought the structure was perfect. Yeah. The way I'd like to see it again revised. revised yeah. I'd like to see... I, I'd love to see it click, because it's, yeah. it's close. I mean, yeah. there, there are some things that are wrong, but I'd love to see... Ah, you got it. You know, yeah. There you go. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're looking for you to get it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think this is really promising, and I'm going to do it on camera. I'm going to give you my card. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my oh, goodness. goodness. <laughs> stuff at another conference I went to and a voice jumped out at me, grabbed me, and I went on to sell two books in the series, right? So I, I'm trusting my gut here and saying that when you're finished, uh, I'm, I'm going to want to see it, you know? But I'm not going to give you more than a page, right? And an editor isn't even going to give you half a page, right? right? So you want it. Uh, you know, I don't think these guys are going to do it. You're really brave to do this. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> And you're not crying. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah, and you're going to say, you're going to hate me. <laughs> and then when you get over it, you're going to appreciate it. Right? <laughs> you know? yeah. As long as you can um, handle everything you're being told today, because rejection is part of being, uh, being able to take it and being able to pick and choose what works for you from rejection, it's part of becoming a prof professional writer. I'd be surprised though, when you walk away, it might seem really big. I mean, even when we meet ourselves as a writer's group, you know, some, some weeks I walk away and there's almost nothing, and some weeks I walk away and there's a lot. And if it's, if it's more, then it's, it can be overwhelming, but then the second I sit down, it's fine. You know? Every eye in that paragraph, <laughs> look at that, right? The top of the is, I couldn't see it in the kitchen. I heard everything, I sat, I remember, I wanted, yeah. I didn't, I felt. Well, guess what I thought? <laughs> Alright, we do have to wrap it up. So I guess I'll wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you for submitting. We hoped that our comments today will help you with uh, a, a rewrite at all if you decide to do that. And thank you, everyone else, for joining us for this episode of Writers Infusion. We will see you next time. Keep writing. Yeah.